I'm Andy, and I'm a handyman. I'm not sure if I'm a hoarder, but I believe I am a collector of certain types of things. Computer equipment, stereo equipment, bicycles, cars, and um, engines. And I know how to fix most of those things. So if I find something that doesn't work, uh, there's a good chance I can fix it. Strange. Sometimes I may collect too many of certain things, yes. I'm Alan, and Andrew is my brother. Andrew and my father both shared the same dysfunction, the same desire to hold on to things and not let them go. Andrew is clearly a hoarder. It's uh, the most extreme case of hoarding that I have ever seen. Being a hoarder in a house with a hoarder, my father, two generations of hoarders living in the same premises created a, a disaster. I'm Mary Ann, and Andrew is my son. I hate to see a house that got in such a terrible mess. We were just trying to find some way to get Andrew in a different path because he had become so settled in living in his dad's house, a house that's so full of stuff that you couldn't even walk on the floor anywhere. You had to climb over stuff. This house is a shambles compared to the other houses around it. It's a nice residential neighborhood. Prices in the neighborhood start at about $700,000 for a house and go up to well over a million. I think my father decided to give me his entire estate because I helped him uh, do all the things that were necessary, doing anything he asked for. My brother wrote a will and had my father sign it when he was very sick and in the hospital. He was so ill that he couldn't even sign his signature on the line. In the will that Andrew wrote, I was left one dollar. I am not convinced that my brother deserves any part of the estate because he didn't treat my father with respect. I don't think it's fair for any one person to get all of it. I think it's fortunate that Adult Protective Services is available if help is needed because Andrew will not move to a safe environment for himself. And it's hard to know what to do in a situation like that. Do you let somebody stay in a place where one person has already died due to the conditions there and let another person possibly die or become very sick? It's a hard situation to know what the right thing to do is. My name is Dr. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and I specialize in compulsive hoarding and OCD. This morning, Andrew came up to me and shared that he has filed an order of protection against his brother, Alan. He basically stated that he's filed this because he's feeling harassed. I got that order of protection because my brother had been threatening me in various ways. I'm concerned that if Andrew serves the order of protection this morning, that Alan's going to leave. And unfortunately, Alan is our primary support. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We have got to clean this house so we can save it. My name is Matt Paxton. I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. <laughs> we got to get rid of all of this stuff. No, okay? not all of it. Not all of it, but quite a bit. <laughs> uh -huh. There are a lot of family issues going on that's outside of the scope of this cleanup. If we don't clean this yard up, 
the state's gonna be gone for both of you. 10% of zero is zero, okay? So it really doesn't matter who gets what. I still don't think you get to how real that consequence is. Yeah, I don't know the, the legal processes. You could easily lose this house in the next mm. month. That's very real. Until you accept that we're in a crisis situation, we're not gonna go forward. Well, I did accept that there was a risk of the city doing that. There is a me. risk, not was, there is. Still, there maybe, is, right? Is, this, still not is. maybe, dude, uh, it's real. You're, okay. you're not accepting how serious that, this is. By working with us, he'll still have a choice of what he can keep and not keep. If he's not able to do that, he's going to lose everything. Let's go make some progress, all right? Yes. All, all right, right, let's do let's it. Let's do it. These are my bicycles. I like them, they work. I don't want to get rid of them. The camp stove is very important. I use that for- That's cooking. your kitchen. What other, like, is this food, can that go if it's expired? It's, no, that's good food. Give me one item that can okay. go. Okay, take something that can go. This is not where I keep a lot of junk here. Well, I would beg to differ. This is a lot of junk, really. This thing is not terribly important. It probably works, but it's, I don't have a lot of attachment to it. Seems to be full of water. Um, yeah, like I said, there's not a lot of junk in this area. So out of this entire area, that's the one thing I can take. Matt Damn. is trying to explain to you the magnitude of all the stuff that you have and how you continue to rationalize that everything is worth money. One of the bigger concerns with the citation is that there's a homeless sh shelter in the middle of the front yard. A guy broke into his house, and instead of calling the cops on him, he lets the guy live in his front yard. My name is Gregory Angerano, and uh, we're broadcasting live from Andrew's backyard, and um, I discovered that he was a hoarder, and I wanted to help him clean this friggin' place up. Yeah, it smells like urine. Gregory is a man that lost his apartment. I gave him a chance to stay somewhere and um, get his life a little more organized. You got condoms, cigarettes, you got gasoline takes, so he's doing a little huffing. This is crazy when you really think that in the middle of the horde, there's a dude living like this. Part of this, this hoarding tendency has been to hoard the entire estate. When our father got sick, you wrote a will in February that made you the sole beneficiary, and you got him to sign it. And when I had last spoken to him about his will, he told me that he would leave 45% to you, 45% to me. I, yeah, I'm, a, I'm sorry, I gotta cut this off. Mm. Um, this, this is not about the estate. It's mm. not supposed to be about the estate. But it's part well, of the hoarding I'm issue. I'm gonna speak. The state has nothing to do with the hoarding issue. We were brought here to help your brother. Right. But it's I, to recognize don't, don't that this anything. whole hoarding thing is don't coming together. Don't say anything. Together. I'm talking to you, OK? We were supposed to be here to help your brother long term with his mental illness. Right. And we're all on the same team don't to do talk. that. Don't talk. I'm talking. You're not on the same team. You are trying to save the estate for you. I think his ultimate goal is to have government authorities declare me to be an incompetent person mentally and then uh, have some kind of legal guardian, which he would want to be himself. Him You're doing the it right the wrong way. way is what I'm telling no, you. No, I think you are. And I'm, I, Really? Yeah, the reason that it's the wrong way is that you're not seeking the balance that he needs to reach. You're saying that it's okay for so, him to hoard the entire estate. You look at Andrew and you see this person who seems kind of innocent and it's all a facade. It's not really there. Beneath it, there's a person who wants to grab everything for himself. It's his choice. That's you his can't control choice. his life because you're upset that the estate That's is not why. You're well, putting words in my mouth and I resent it. Sorry and I'm sorry about. that you have that perception. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sorry that you don't understand things clearly. And I'm sorry that you're confused. I would like you to see Wait, things Alan, clearly. Alan, look, I, I, I hear that you're concerned. I hear that, OK? I want to acknowledge no, that. No, I'm, I'm a selfish prick who wants okay. one okay. third. Come on or so of the estate when he wants to take all of it. At the end of the day, both of these guys are fighting over their father's estate, and they're acting like children. Just let it go for Please. now. Please. If you continue to talk about estate, nothing's going to happen. What's going on? Um, 
He's basically telling me that he's got all the dominoes set up and they're ready to fall. And also he mentioned that uh, four of his worst enemies are now dead. Hello. Hi. Uh, if APS is coming and they want to look in the house, I want to make sure they have a court order, so I'm going to lock any doors. You can lock the door. I screwed in the security door at the back so that it couldn't open, and then right after I did that, apparently my brother came and tore it out. What's going on? My brother's invading the house. He's trying to, uh, uh, get the back door open and apparently invite the APS in. Who are you calling? The police, so I can get the order of protection delivered. He feels that he has been bullied by his brother, harassed by his brother, and he feels that the only way he will truly be able to get his brother off of his property is to have an order of protection. This is really bad. Whose home is this? Well, uh, legally, it's the estate of Fred There is a will, which I have right here. Okay. And I don't know if you need to see it. Sue actually resides in his home, but that's I, I reside. Sure. Okay, where is he? Uh, probably in the backyard. Alan? Yes, hello. It's Gloria. I'm just going to give you a summons. A summons for what? An order of protection. An order of protection? For what? Don't you have to do something to issue one? Andrew apparently called the police and had a restraining order issued upon me. Where does he live? He lives here. Uh, he lives here and at friends' houses. I told him you're a real expletive deleted to call the police on your brother. I want to file an order of protection against him, and I want to do that now. He may be very angry, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if he would like to hurt me. According to the police, at this point, the order of protection will prevent Alan from coming on Andrew's property. Usually on day two, we can try to fill four or five trucks. Uh, with all this drama, we haven't even filled one truck yet. This stuff, you still need to approve. Right. I'd like you to try to just say, try to be quick. go for it, let, let it go, because well, everything Greg, that's coming out now. That, so um, you know, this is stuff. We recognize that, right? No. It's stuff. Well, okay. it's got to go like the rest Greg. of the Hold tight. No, we're gonna discuss it. The uh, hours are in. Hold tight, Greg. Hold tight. No, let's start ripping it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Over there for five minutes. It All right. doesn't bother me. I'm hot to try. Wait, go, go over there for five minutes. Greg, you got a job, brother. Get these bags in the truck. Although I do not like it at all. Wrapping down our final hours. Um, as you know, we never even got to the house. There's no pathways to your bathroom. The kitchen is still unusable. At this point, we have a reality of how severe things have gotten, and it's so devastating that Adult Protective Services are now um, going to be monitoring the situation, and they actually have quite a bit of authority. Andrew has no reaction whatsoever. OK. You can have your cookie now. OK, thank you. I think we got enough done. I know it's only a fraction of what needs to be done. No. But, uh, no, no. Get out of no. here now. Don't, don't push me. Here. Go, go. <laughs> here. All right, if you don't mind, the truth is, is that we didn't get the inside of the house clean. The way we're leaving the house today isn't remotely acceptable for any type of inspections. We got here, the house was a crap hole. We're leaving, the house is a crap hole. This is a tough one. We knew in the first 10 minutes we weren't going to get this house cleaned. That was if you talk to Andrew for five seconds, you realize, OK, that's not going to happen. All right, now I'm away from anybody who can bother me. <laughs> I really fear that this whole situation is going to have a pretty tragic outcome with Andrew becoming homeless. I knew it was impossible to clean out the entire house I'm gonna come in back two days of cleaning. Tomorrow, and I'm going to help him clean up that place. The lesson I'm taking with me is sometimes you can't save the day. No! 
<laughs> All right, I made it. Sometimes you just gotta let a hoarder be who they are. I could be a gymnast, maybe. I devoutly hope Andrew can come out of this mess. Andrew enjoys this. He's actually quite happy. OK, any more questions? Thanks for being a fan of Hoarders and subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.